So today I want to work on an art journal page and I want to try out the decollage idea. Basically that is a collage in reverse. So instead of layering different bits of papers to achieve the final picture, you still layer papers but then take layers away in order to achieve your final picture. So I want to try it out. I've never done it before, so this is definitely an experiment. And as you saw, I started with a piece of corrugated cardboard thinking it might help me to know uh, if I reach the bottom layer as I rip things away. But it really wasn't necessary. It didn't glue very well and basically just peeled off later on, which is all fine. So next there was a layer of packaging paper, so it was pretty sturdy, and then just some craft paper. And I picked pretty subdued colors, greens and browns, a little darker tones as well. And only the top one really has a design, a recognizable design of uh, tree branches and a moon. And then I will also add an image I took from a magazine. You can see it right there. And well, right here, I realized that I wasn't very careful uh, in getting my papers down straight. So I had a few bubbles, but it's all okay. A lot of it gets ripped away and at the end, it turned out just fine. So here goes my magazine picture. And I did water down my Mod Podge. Even though I want things to be flat and stuck, I don't want them bond too quickly or too uh, permanent because I do need to pull things away and that's easier said than done. As you can see here I'm already struggling to get through the top layer and yes for starters it looks uh, not too good. Everything is white but of course that's the extra paper uh, that is attached to the back of all these craft papers and they can be rubbed away just like you would do uh, when you do a transfer. So the rest of this is all pretty simple. I have to tell you that there were moments when I thought, now nah, this is not looking the way I had imagined. But I think at the end, it had a quite interesting look and I was satisfied with my first uh, try of this technique. So please just enjoy watching me do this. I sped it up a lot because yeah, it took really some time. It's a bit messy. I wanted to make sure to see at least a little bit of each layer. And of course, rubbing away the white took time as well. So enjoy the process and I will talk to you in just a wee bit.
And next I took one of my single chipboard art journal pages. I painted it black because I felt that the dark background would complement the picture and also brings out the holes. And that's also one reason why I ripped a couple of sides just to bring it together in a kind of more cohesive way. So now some glue, I alternate between the tacky glue and the Mod Podge just so my edges will glue really nicely. And then, well, one more time is my Brea, just because everything is a little bit stubborn. Then cutting the edges and uh, voila, my page is just about done. Now, as I said earlier, it was a bit of an unusual journey as there were a couple of times when I wasn't sure what I was doing or where it was going. But I have to say that I quite like the look. I like the randomness of it. I like the layering. I also like the combination of the moon and the bright light on the image. And of course the splatter I think uh, gave it a nice finishing touch. So I can definitely see the potential for me in this decollage technique. I hope it inspired you as well. I think using brighter colors for the layers may give a completely different effect. Um, maybe even papers which do not have a white underside may work better. And it's definitely worth trying out again sometime. I hope this inspired you as well. Thank you so much for coming. Please come and see me soon again. And bye bye for now. <music>